Hey there, what up friends? So um, I have an interesting mission for today. I am teaching the last session of my live stream class uh, for this unit tomorrow night and I have to put together a bit of choreography to teach the class. So I thought I would walk you through the process by which I create and shoot my choreography. Drex here from Drex Factor Poise, sharing with you the love of poise spinning and flow arts to benefit your body and brain. And today, we are taking a look at choreographing. Yay! But before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Fire Mecca, Flow Fests, Flow Toys, Juggling Calling, Pyroterra Light Toys, Spin Balls, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links that I have down in the description of this video. And special thanks to the non-business friends of the channel, Lay Machinsky and Becca Bekonen. Thank you both so much for supporting my channel, my work, and my mission. All right, so first things first, I need to pick some music for this choreography to be written to. My students went ahead and uh, basically suggested a bunch of different options in our last class session. So I'm gonna go through and see what the samples of each of these songs sound like on TikTok and see which ones uh, I'm feeling like using. All right, our first contender is Believer by Imagine Dragons. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really feeling the vibe on this one. Kind of feels like it takes a little bit too long for the beat to drop. We've also got Time Bomb by Walk the Moon. So I like the vibe a lot more. Um, I'm having a hard time picking out a good starting point for the choreo in there though. So we're gonna, we're gonna leave that as a plan B for right now. Oh, here's another suggestion. Dear Maria, Count Me In by the All-American Rejects. I think we have a winner. I like that there's a bunch of changes right off the bat, so there's some easy places for me to stick in some changes. I think we've, uh, I think we've got our music. So next step will be to set up the camera outside and start working on choreo. So let's head out and do that. Alrighty then. So this is not my usual practice spot, but I think it'll still do. We have what I reckon is probably like an hour, maybe two hours of sunlight left. So uh, usually it takes me about an hour to choreograph one of these things and get a decent take of it. So let's get started on that now, shall we? All right, so the unit we were just learning was all on horizontal plane tricks. So playing around with a lot of corkscrews, a lot of horizontal flowers, uh, and of course, our final week, we talked more than a little bit about plane breaking. So the challenge for me always is coming up with choreo that is going to look interesting, but still is simple enough to pass on to folks that are still somewhere near the beginning of their poi journey. So one thing that I think I want to incorporate into this off the top of my head, I was thinking about this in the shower this morning, is kind of taking some elements of the plane breaking that I worked on with the class last week and turn that into a little phrase to start with and see where we go from there. Okay, so straight up at that moment when the uh, it goes halftime for a second, there is absolutely going to be a pirouette with a uh, horizontal flower at that moment. There has to be. I kind of like starting it off with just kind of like the over the shoulder kind of thing right here. I don't know, it, it kind of feels dramatic. Like, uh, uh, you ever see that uh, cover of Spider-Man where it's like Spider-Man no more and it's like, you know, looking over his shoulder as, the, uh, as, as Peter Parker is walking away from his costume? I don't know why. I, I get drawn to comic books because it's very bold uh, kind of shapes that the bodies are getting into. I think it's cool. So I think I want to go from that horizontal flower into a corkscrew, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to do it. So the challenge is that as I'm coming around in that flower, I need my right hand to lead the corkscrew up. And it kind of feels like when I get to the end here, well, I suppose I could just lead with that right hand as it's coming around 
And yeah, because in that way, I just do a quick beat on bottom and then the corkscrew is the next thing that comes out of it. Huh, that might be something. So, idea is to take a pendulum out with the right, bring it back, take it around, around, bring it in, and fold. Left hand goes around, around, bring it in, and around to fold. We push them both back down come out and around. We do our corkscrew, which I led on the wrong hand there. And we come down, kind of take it down like so. We wrap around. Let me try that with the music. I like it. I like it a lot. Now what comes next? Yeah, so I think I want to get to the end of those lyrics right there. Okay, so that is like another uh, somewhere between seven to eight seconds. Thus far, we have played around with plane breaking. We have played around with horizontal flowers. And we have played around with corkscrews. So is there anything else we can bring in here? Let me see what happens just if I rock out with the music for a second. Hmm. Okay, so I forgot there was one other thing that we played with uh, in my class and that was stalls. Okay, so we start to my left, right, left, bring them up and around, stall, take them around, up, over. There's gotta be a more dramatic way I can end it than that. Stall, stall, tuck, turn, around, tuck, turn. What if I went up high and then down low? Let's see where that lines up with the music, shall we? I kind of love that, but I want to do a little bit of tweaking of some of the body language here. So like when I'm doing the wrap up, rather than it being like, you know, semaphore here, I think that I want to like have it be more of a flex. All right, so just to mark that, we're going to take it down and around, up and over, around my shoulder, bring it around, and huh, we bring it up, take it around. Whoops, that's going to be a problem. We take it up, we take it around, we take it around, bring it around, and I think I want to like lunge slightly in that direction and then drop, and then that will be my cue because I'm kind of already in a plie here to take that around. Then I can take my corkscrew, this, boom, boom. Yeah, I kind of want to, I want my body to have a response to these. Uh, stalls. So, boom, as they come up and around, we go around, da, 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 really emphasize that. And as we go down, I want to make sure that I'm, I'm doing like uh, that Greek discus thrower here. Yeah, again, superhero power poses. What, what, what can I say? All right, so let's try that again with music. <laughs> So notes for myself, this thing where I'm wrapping up, um, I think that the hand facing inward might not be the move here. Um, I'm wondering if I can, yeah, kind of do a thing where it's still flexed, but my hand is now kind of pointing more outward. So something like that rather than something like that. Also, I'm noticing coming out of this corkscrew, I am really the 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 movement downward is kind of awkward i'm trying to figure out if like 
Ah, that's what I'm looking for. So I need to open up as if this is a horizontal flower and that's what's going to, that's what's gonna guide me down. Also, as I am doing this little thing off to the side here, I really need to make sure that the line I'm creating with the poi is actually horizontal instead of off at a diagonal, cause that's kind of awkward. And finally coming down, um, I need to, th th this is the pose that I need to hit right here. I need to make sure that I'm focusing on uh, the negative space around me. All right, let's give it another go then, shall we? <laughs> yeah, that was a disaster. Let's try that again. Damn it. Ah, now the ifs are getting me. Sweet, so I am feeling really good about that and I wanna try for a final take. I'm going to shoot this with a, uh, uh, an S-Log so I can do some really nice color correction like that. And now, let's see if I can get a winning take out of this. Oh man, that was a real good take. The one and only thing was I didn't feel like I nailed that shape at the end perfectly, but um, that's gonna be a good backup. It's really close. Oh snap, our work here is done. As of right now, that clip is up on my Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. So please go and remix or duet or whatever it is that uh, you prefer to do with your platform of choice. Uh, pretty please come dance with me. I hope you enjoyed watching the process of me putting that choreography together. If you got anything out of this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe to help other people find it, and of course, to help my channel grow. Hey friends, Drex from the future here with a real special message. If you dug that choreography, please come take the Poi dance classes that I wrote it for. We're gonna be starting up a new unit on Tuesday, June 6th, and we're going to be covering body tracers. Check that out over at crowdcast.io slash drexfactorpoi. Hopefully, I'll see you there. This video would not be possible were it not for the kind support of all of these awesome people right here. These are my Flow patrons over on Patreon. They and the people listed down in the description help to make this video and all the videos on this channel possible. Thank you one and all for your very generous support. And if you out there watching are not currently a supporter, but you'd like to become one, you can do that by heading on over to patreon.com slash DrexFactorPoi and signing up. There you can get access to a whole host of awesome rewards, but even better than that, you'll be helping me out in my mission to bring Poi spinning and flow arts to the whole wide world. So go check that out, please and thank you. And if you'd like to check out some of my other videos on Poi Dance, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to a playlist of said videos down in the description as well as up here on screen if you're watching on YouTube. Also, the YouTube algorithm thinks that you might like this top video here because it is popular amongst people that visit my channel. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to get out and flow today. I hope you learned this bit of choreography. Uh, have a good one and uh, enjoy the flow. Peace. <laughs>